Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Up and down England yesterday, people went to the polls. It wasn't the whole of England, but it was a big chunk of it. Uh, and it was only England. And they were electing their uh, local councils, town councils, things like that. And I think four mayors were being elected as well. Um, but this was a, a massive uh, opportunity for people to rail against and reject the Tory government. And that's exactly what they've done. The Tories have been given a massive bloody nose. Uh, it doesn't bode well for Rishi, a man who should never be PM. Uh, and it doesn't bode well for the next general election, which must be held, I think, before the end of January next year. Uh, but which, without fail, will be held probably in the autumn of next year. Um, and the problem they have, and what the Tories fail to realise, is that at the last general election, a lot of people voted for a Tory government. They got a massive majority. Uh, and they did so, these people did so. They were traditionally Labour voters in Labour areas, but they voted Tory because of one man. And that man, of course, was Boris Johnson. People weren't voting for the Conservative Party. They were voting for Boris. And then the Tories did the unforgivable thing. And they, they got rid of Boris. They imposed Liz Truss, who I said from day one, and actually before she was uh, ever elected, I said, the woman is a moron. And it proved out that, um, actually, I, I, I underestimated how stupid she was. She was way stupider than that. Uh, so they got rid of her. But the problem is that they replaced her in a coup d'etat with someone who wasn't elected into the role, Rishi Sunak, a man rejected by the Tory members. Uh, and he was placed man. He was put in. And, of course, everyone now rejects that, that... Even Conservative voters, and this is the important thing, even Conservative voters didn't come out and vote Tory because they reject having Rishi Sunak in power. The Tories have lost a lot of their own support. So, of course, the Lib Dems who voted Tory last time, the Labour who voted Tory last time, all those people who don't normally vote Tory didn't vote Tory this time. And the Tories have been given an absolute wipeout in the polls. Now, it's only about a, third, a fifth of the... Um, results have been called so far a lot of them won't even begin counting until this morning uh, but from those that have it is quite clear to see that Rishi Sunak will be choking over his cornflakes this morning and he must start to consider his position because it is an absolute wipeout and he personally is the one to blame he's raising taxes he's raising interest rates he's destroying the economy when it's already weak he is creating misery in an attempt to fix things that he has caused. Now, OK, there are external matters, but there's nothing that destroys an economy more than removing money from it because you kill jobs, you kill bars, hotels, restaurants. We are a service economy and he's killing the services with his policies. Madness. And the people have had enough and the people are rejecting it and quite right too. Although, I've got to be honest and say, having Keir Starmer uh, as an ex-PM doesn't bode well either. They're all useless. But anyway, we'll take a look at this article and see what is happening. So Tories face huge losses in local elections after shedding more than 190 councillors in Redwall and Heartlands, including True Blue Windsor, with Westminster turmoil blamed and Keir Starmer boasting he is set to win the keys to number 10. And I think he probably will. I don't see any way back for the Tories. They need to ditch Sunak immediately. Then go to the members, have a fresh ballot for a new leader and make sure Boris is on that list. And I think that is the only way that they can save the party. Uh, there is no other way. There, there is no other talent, no other talent at all in the Tory party. Um, who have you got? I mean, to be honest, to, and then this is a weird thing, I think the only person other than Boris that would stand any chance is Jacob Rees-Mogg. And that is an astounding thing to say. He is ferociously posh, but he is at least forensically clever. He's a very clever man. Um, and he is very calm, um, but he's just but he's just so not one of us. He's just so not a man of the people. 
but he's he's probably the him and Boris are probably the only two that could possibly save the Tories at the moment because the rest of them are non-entities. They're nobodies. You have the forensic mind of Rhys Mogg or you have the charm of Boris. Now, don't get me wrong. Boris is a, an awful man, a serial adulterer, more children. I don't think even he knows how many children he's got. Um, he is absolute shagger, uh, you know, but he can charm the birds out of the trees. And that's what the Tories need. They need to put Boris back if they're going to have any chance of not getting completely wiped out. I don't think they can save the next election. I think it's almost certainly going to be a Labour government. Uh, but Boris may just reduce the majority for Labour. Anyway, Rishi Sunak is facing a local elections nightmare today as the Tories suffer big losses and Keir Starmer Bosi is set to win the keys of number 10. I don't know why they keep saying that, strangely enough, because if you ever look, number, ke number 10 doesn't have keys. It doesn't have a lock. It cannot be shut or locked. It's never locked, ever, uh, because there's no lock on the door. There is a man who stands behind it 24 hours a day. Not the same man. Obviously, they do it in shifts. But there's always someone there. But they call it the keys. Anyway, uh, the Conservatives have lost control of eight councils and shed more than 190 seats. And this is only with the first tranche that's been counted, the first 50. They've lost eight councils out of the first 50. And they've lost councillors on every single council. Um, uh, and event, Labour ended 23 years of blue rule to take, cha take charge in Medway. So 23 years of, of, a, of a, Tory, a Tory council in Medway has gone to Labour. While Mr Sunak's grip was prized loose in Brentwood, Tamworth, North West Leicestershire, Hartsmere, East Lindsay and Boston. Um, I'm very surprised that, they, that Boston had blue. Anyway, uh, in another body blow, the Lib Dems have seized Windsor and Maidenhead, Theresa May's constituency. And that has got to sting. Uh, Windsor and Maidenhead are ferociously blue. They are, they are the absolute Tory heartlands. Ever you go there, you'll just see it screams money, privilege, wealth. It just screams Tory everywhere you go. Um, anyway, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, mean, I could go down to uh, to that sort of place and you can have some good times by the Thames. It's nice, but it is absolutely uh, Tory heartland. Uh, but so to lose that, that has got to be a major worry and a major concern for Rishi Sunak this morning. Uh, although many more results are yet to come, because I've only had about a fifth of the results so far, polling experts say the Tories could yet face the calamity of losing more than a thousand council seats overall. And worryingly for Mr Sunak, the pummeling has been coming in both red wall areas and traditional heartlands. Labour celebrated victories in Plymouth, where the Tories had been running a minor minority administration, and Stoke-on-Trent, a key battlehead, a battleground ahead of the next general election. Now, <clears throat> we could go in... And, uh, and talk about every single seat here and whatever and what people's reactions are. But I think there are a couple of other things that we must address at this point. Firstly, um, turnout was dismal. It was a very low turnout. Now, there were several reasons for this. One, it's, um, you know, it's, it's May, it's cold out, it was raining. There is the weather. That's always a factor for a low turnout. Secondly, and this is, this is uh, an important one. The Tories had an appallingly low turnout. Their own supporters, the Tory government supporters, are so fed up. They won't vote against them. I mean, I mean, some will. Some have, undoubtedly. But most of them won't vote against them. But they'll object by not voting for them. They've sat at home and they won't vote. Uh, just to send a message to you know, the Westminster Party. You then have another... Um, distraction the first time ever where uh, photo ID is required in order to vote uh, but anyway that that will undoubtedly have affected the turnout and so you've got to sort of say that it's not been good it's not been good the Labour voters who voted Tory last time have switched back to Labour a lot of Tory voters won't vote Tory this time because they're so upset at what has been taken from them they had a vote they voted and then they had the man they didn't vote imposed upon them and that's what happens. And I think the Tories are, are, are fucked, basically. Um, and it's their own hand. And good, good on them. Good for doing it. This is what happens when you're stupid. And the Tories have proven that they are as stupid as any other party. All that private education. And they're still dumb as potatoes. I shall round off and come up. So there you are. Just to prove it, stupidity isn't the domain of the left. 
the right can be as stupid as the left and they just have proven that they are. But you cannot treat people that way and expect them to continue to support you. You vote in uh, a man uh, in the way uh, and the form of Boris Johnson and then the party who he leads turn around and get rid of him and impose their own man who nobody voted for. And then they wonder why they're rejected. It is mind boggling. But boggle they may. So the Tories in for a big bloody nose. I think easily well over a thousand seats will be gone by the close of play today. Um, they've got to start looking at getting rid of Rishi Sunak. This is all down to him and all down to Hunt. And I'm going to have to make sure I pronounce his name incorrectly like that. But I can't say what I want to call him. We will call him Hunt. Uh, with his madness of the tax uh, tax code he's bringing in, all those in, in massive tax rises and things like that, to pay for all the mistakes that they have made. Morons. Good on them. I hope they all lose their job, and let's hope that the Tory government is kicked from power next time. They can go away, lick their wounds, then come back with sensible policies for once. They might get in again someday, but I think it'll be a while. Anyway, enough of that. God, it gets me blood boiling when I talk about all these stupid people and we keep voting these stupid people into power. So I shall round off. Thank you very much for listening. If you like me seen here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like. Please share the video, but definitely leave the like. That's the big one. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, don't waste your vote and goodbye.